what is a tight home? What does that mean and why do we even care if it's tight or loose? I'm at the off-grid homestead in North Carolina where we're under construction and undoubtedly this will be a very, very tight house. But why do we do it? What are we tightening it up from or for? Well, we're keeping the unwanted air and moisture and even critters outside and all the comfortable good air inside so when you condition a house you pump all that cool or warm air into it with your mechanical systems and it stays there that's why we want it really tight and yes you need to take precautions when you are really tight making sure there's enough fresh air to handle off-gassing of chemicals that are in products. It does help to have more oxygen for people, but it's not like a house could actually suffocate somebody. It just means get the fresh air in and the bad air out. About 10 hours south of here is our high-performance tiny house. It's in central Florida. It's about 400 square feet and 6,000 cubic feet. We built that very, very tight. And I'm going to let my experts that I brought to the, to the job while it was under construction to tell us how we tested and what the results were of our air infiltration test and some of the techniques that we used to make it so very, very tight. My name is uh, Danko Davidovic and I am a building scientist in Huber. Uh, I'm Tony Gomes from Faraday Energy, right at Tampa, Florida. Uh, we do uh, HERS ratings, energy efficiency inspections, and uh, a whole range of building performance tests. It's tight, <laughs> airtight. <laughs> Something that every house should pursue, have your floors airtight, and Chris particular this project uses zip panels to make the floor level airtight. So we installed the zip panels at the bottom of the floor joists and taped all the joints and eliminated a big portion of the air leak in most of the homes these days. To make the floor airtight, look at that, how great it is. People often oversee and forget to seal their floors and this guy didn't forget that really important part on the home. Here we go. Good job, Chris. The test itself depressurizes the house. It sucks the air out of the house to a level of pressure of 50 pascals. We did um, a multi-point test today where we take the, uh, take the pressure readings at eight different pressures in the house and see how much air it took to create that pressure generally for a house this size, which is pretty small. We've only got 400 square feet, 6,000 cubic feet. Um, the, it, it's hard to get good numbers in a house this small. And the reason for that is the, the same leaks that might be in a 3,000 square foot house really make a huge impact in a house this size. So, um, so the house today tested at um, the equivalent of a, basically a two and a half inch hole in your house. It's a pretty tiny hole. Two, two and a half square. Square inches, yeah. yeah. And it's a, a pretty tiny hole. I mean, normally in a house of any size, you would see holes that were as much as 100 square inches, and that would be considered good. And at two and a half inches, that's, uh, that's phenomenal. So it's a great, great outcome. Uh, I expect it to get tighter as the construction progresses. Yeah. Because naturally, as we, we sheetrock the house and do the rest of the air sealing around the windows, that, that number will tighten up a bit. I don't know how much more it's going to tighten up. It's awfully tight now. I, I, don't, I don't know that zero is a possibility, but we can sure try. This would be preferable because uh, this is actually the earliest stage you could possibly do this test at. We can do a much better test this way because now we have access to all the possible points of leakage. And that way we'd have the opportunity to seal up any mistakes that were made before the sheetrock goes up and all that gets buried never to be seen again. If we tested just post sheetrock, then we might find out that the house has a lot of leaks, but you know, your guess would be as good as mine where they are. And like Danko said, it's tight, <laughs> airtight. <laughs>